Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. And now that we've finished doing some stuff in the first world, let's uh, take a look at this machine that... What's his name? I can't remember. It's, it's sad. But let's look at this Ammonites Enhanced Fire, where we can enhance the power of our hero shot, increasing the fire rate, which will make us use ink faster, but it means we'll be able to shoot <laughs> like a lot more ink spreaded press ah a lot more ink getting out there you, you, you know what I'm trying to say it costs eight thousand no eight hundred fish eggs though and two sardinium and the ink tank costs two sardinium and a thousand uh fish eggs as well so we can't even get one of these other bomb types so for now we're just gonna have to leave that and come back once we have some more fish eggs. Which hopefully will be soon, because I really want to upgrade my stuff. It's such a, a weird thing going back to default gear. I hope that in the next Splatoon game, which I don't, has, isn't out as of recording this, but could be, depending on how slow I am at editing and all that. I hope that in the next game they have, like, a, um, like, maybe a gear shop. But, like, so, well, yeah. welcome to Suction Cup Lookout. <laughs> but I hope they have a gear shop, like for single player specifically like maybe like a rundown stole kind of thing where the owners trying to make make some money because they don't have a lot to work with but like they could have special gear that only is useful in the single player unless you do unless you finished it or something like that but anyway there's number four which is the one we're up to i guess i should just go into it now since it's here enter the octo hole hurler let it roll sheldon request because Sheldon is now part of the Squidbeak Splatoon. We now have weapon requests every time we go to a new level. Okay, take this with you. It will help me gather some practical data. This is the Hero Roller. You can fling a big wall of ink while on the ground with ZR. Or you can press ZR in mid-air to fling a longer, narrower stream of ink. You can also hold ZR while moving to roll ink over the ground, all over the ground. So this is a roller, where if we just tap it, it will send a wave in front of us. But if we jump and tap it, send a, a like a straight wave in front of us. But if we just hold it down, it will just paint the ground in front of us. Let's keep moving. Okay. We also have these things. These are roll, roll, ah, roll onium. Which, if we hit with ink, we'll roll in that direction, spreading our ink that way, so... It's quite helpful, but we also have these cleaner things again, from the first game, to do with. And some enemies. So let's try and take out these... Ah, uh, what are they called? Octo Troopers. Hit the roller do <sighs> I, oh, I can't even say the word. But we can use it to take out the enemies as well, as paint the ground, so... Anything back here? Yes, there is. There's the Sardinium. Okay, we can see that box back there. Which I think if we go back here and get it, is... Some fish eggs. There you go, you're with your impulsive secret finding again. Got some gushes. Octopods incoming! Oh, need to take them out before they explode on us. They do have some balloons as well that would be good to grab. Jump here and swing with your, with your roller. Oh, I will. Let me just get this as well. Yeah, like that. Your vertical swing uh, inked the area in flash, right? It's good for painting a wall so you can climb up quickly. Just have it swing vertically. More octopods. So annoying. Should be fine to just take them out normally. And I think one of these things around here might have a different collectible, which isn't actually a helpful collectible, really. It depends on if you've played the game or not. When you're playing on your main main profile. There's an Octobomber, which we're going to need to take out, but we also need to take out these other things. We can also just send the Rolodinium things, whatever they're called, I don't know, flying if we aim upwards. Get cooked, Octo Slob. Wow, that's very enthusiastic, I guess. Let's keep going. Don't think there's anything back there, otherwise I'd be in trouble. By the way, Octo Hurlers. Throw rolling ro ro them. I can't read that fast game, it's fine. <laughs> but these guys basically can throw it 
themselves at us where we need to be careful of them. What a pro. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. I don't really think so. There's a launch pad in the back, but first you have to get past these Octo Hurlers. Now, Octo Hurlers just sounds like a really weird name for them. We've got a Stingray, though, which could be helpful for taking out some of them. Possibly. If I feel the need. Which I possibly do, so let's go ahead and do that. Gonna waste most of it, probably. Just because they're not quite in range. I should have done it from further back. But anyway, let's just take out all of this. Grab some more armor. And I think I want to get onto those platforms that are going around. With these guys on them. Oh, please. No, nope. hang on. Okay, there we go. I want to take you out while I'm going past. If I have enough ink, which I don't apparently. But here's the sea scroll, so let's grab that. No, oh, that's a bad idea. Don't jump. <laughs> Calm down. Nearly ended myself. But it's fine. Let's go. Don't need to kill all the enemies. Okay, checkpoint. Ah, trap. Nailed it. Or called it. That's the one. Ah, ah, ah. Just gonna do that. Okay. No rest for the squid kid. Okay, let me get rid of you. I'll probably get rid of you. Just like that. Nice work. Okay, final checkpoint. Just a little further. We have one of those octo hurlers throwing at us. We need to be careful. Going up to the end. But we are just about good, so. Let me take you out. And let's go. Oh, I'm low on ink. Hang on, I need this. Mwah. Just gonna kiss your chin there right now. Hope you don't mind. And now, on every level in the game, we also have a weapon log. Yep, data's coming through. Oh man, this is really good stuff. The more data you get, the quicker I can finalize my retail version, so keep it up. But remember, this is a loner. I'm not running a charity here. Good luck, Agent 4. So we can now use the Hero Roller in Sages we've already cleared, basically. You can upgrade your weapons at the Ammo Knights in Hansify with some Sardinium and Power Eggs. This looks to be a do-it-yourself guide for starting your own mobile business. It looks new, but somebody must have been frying something near it. It has some grease stains on it. Which, if I go back to Incopolis, is referring to Crusty Sean's startup business where he's uh, selling some uh, snacks, basically, which will help you get more money and experience in multiplayer. Which isn't really that helpful to me on my second profile, but still. It's there if you would need it. Uh, but we also need to play every level. Well, not really need to play every level with each weapon. But if we do it, it means we will be able to use that weapon in multiplayer by buying it from Sheldon. We also have the ability to upgrade all of our extra weapons that we collect along the way. So we're definitely going to need a lot of fish eggs... And all sorts of other things, because it's just going to take a while. But we can press plus to now change our weapon between the stuff that we have unlocked. It's, it's recommended to play through each level just as they are. And then probably, like, come back through each level with each weapon, probably, preferably. So that you aren't just doing the same level over and over and over and over. And then w once you have all the stuff, you you can do it a lot better anyway as well, so... But anyway, here's a level here. Number eight. I like that I can just roll over that and it just activates super quickly. Uh, I do think I want to go back this way, though. We have these things on the walls which help us get up quickly, so that's good. But I think I want to go over here. Quite possibly. Carefully. Maybe not, actually. I think I'm just crazy. I do want to go up this way, though. 
probably, if I can figure out how to get up there, which is from over here. Just need to activate the sponge. So let's go up. I do actually kind of like the, the glitter effect of the ink number nine. We also need to find the the collectibles in this world, so. Which I think going over this way will lead me to something in this box over here. So let's destroy that if I can, please. Thank you. The roller is quite strong, so. But there's the sardinium. Now this one might take me a bit because I if I miss it, it's gonna take longer. Actually, no, this is a this is a different thing, isn't it? Yeah, this is the this is just the fish eggs. Let's grab that though. It's still worth it, so. Okay, this one. Go this way. Got it. I probably shouldn't have gone back through the thing. No, 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 please hit it. Thank you. Okay, over that way. I'm not ready for this, apparently. Please hit them. Please hit that one. Please hit that one. Okay. Up. Quickly. Hit that one. Twice. That one. Once. And then over that way. Oh boy. Please, please, thank you. There's the sc sea scroll. Okay. Okay. And there's the next area sticker. For Octo Canyon. We've splashed a few areas now, so let's go back this way. Since we can jump across that. We can get up here. There's also a box over here. Which has a ticket, which is for experience, which we, we can use at Krusty Sean's shop in the square to have more XP from multiplayer battles for a little bit. Oh, that's one of those tickets you can use at Krusty Sean's place. You can find his food truck parked in Incopper Square. He sells the most amazing fried hot dog thing. Man, I could really go for a hot dog right now. Okay, we... Paint some more of this, so we can get across here, and up. We need to be careful not to fall through the grate again, but there's number six, and here is number seven. Wow, we're just skipping a lot of things. I think we could have just gone up. No, actually. No, we go through that on that thing. Okay, that's how we get across here. I'm just taking the shortcuts that I don't actually know about. <laughs> Well, it's interesting because you can actually paint behind some of the walls in this place. Not that it really does anything for you, but you can paint behind some of the, the walls. Okay, let's go up here. Okay. I'm out of ink again. Why does this keep happening? Probably because I keep using it. Well, let's go up here, and this should be... Number five. I think it's all of them now, so... Yeah. The Octopark, stay on your grind with a Sheldon request, because every level from this point on is going to have a Sheldon request, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Oh, this place looks cool. And we have a Sheldon request with a new weapon. Okay, take this with you. It will help me gather some practical battle data. These are the hottest weapons in the game right now, the Hero Duelies. Press B while shooting and move in any direction to do a slick dodge roll. You can dodge roll forward, backward, or side to side. It's totally raw. So now with this we have two reticles. We can shoot with both of the guns automatically. But we can also dodge roll around. We can only do it twice in a row, so we need to be careful not to use it up too quickly. And it, it, it recharges fairly quickly as well, but still. If you need to get out of a, a problem, we should be good. We've also got these uh, ink rails here, which is cool. Which we can jump out of as well to keep stuff going. Grab the rings as we go. Jump right through that ring. Perfect. Just on- I'm on a roll right now. Good stuff. Let's keep going. In indeed. Try and hit some of these things as well while we're going. Get the octocopter. Maybe. Like that. I think we want to go up this way. You can use the dodge roll from the dualies to activate things as well. Because whenever you do a dodge roll, I believe, you also ink the ground underneath you, possibly. Or at least the the, the the gun itself also spreads ink quite well. Okay. Why, hello, armor. Okay. 
Don't know what that's about, but it's a thing. Here we go. Let's activate that. Jump on the rail with B. So we can jump from rail to rail by pressing B and aiming into the other rail. It's really cool. Anyway, here's another ticket. Now you're just showing off. The tickets are useful if you are playing multiplayer stuff on your main profile. But other than that, they don't really have much use. Octo Slobs, fry him, Agent 4. Okay. Just like that. If you want to get more fish eggs, it's probably recommended to replay some of these. As, like, pr pretty much as soon as you finish them. But, I don't know. I don't know what my, my plan is right now. I don't have a plan. Is my plan. Just try and get some more fish eggs. Get some of the enemies, maybe. Like that. Gonna check this other side over this way. Also, again, I just like the way that the world here looks. Like, with all the floating stuff in the background, all the stars. I think if we're getting all of the enemies, we've got, got those, uh, fish egg rings there. It looks like fun. Sometimes I wish I was the one risking my life out there. Keep an eye out for new rails to jump onto. Okay. Hit that one. And then jump across here. Let's go to the secret up here, because we can't get up any other way. Sit at Sardinium. That fish must be, must be close. Onward. I have a concern that I missed the, uh... thing. Although I... The, 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 the sea scroll is probably up here somewhere, but I don't know. I'm concerned is the thing. If I missed it. It's probably up in that box there. Baddies! Steam these clams. Yes, I know how to dodge roll. You don't have to tell me. Another box over here as well. Fish eggs. I think that's everything though, so let's go back over here and use this rail. Let's try and take everything up out along the way. Come on, take it out please. And then we want to jump while it's straight to land up here and get the scroll. And let's go, launch pad. Which will take us to the end. Just need to blow it up and smooch. Can't see where my head is, it's fine. We also got a special somewhere, but I don't know how useful that would have been, so. But that's another weapon that we're going to have to use in pretty much every level, if I want to. Data's coming through. Man, this is really good stuff. And now we can use the hero duelies. Got some tickets as well. And this looks like a rich, a get rich quick scheme by some shady guy with crazy hair. I made a cool 10 million G in a, in a year, just sitting around. Ask me how. Do people really fall for this... bilge? I don't know. <laughs> but that's referring to the back alley in Splatoon 1. FYI, if you check your mission progress, you can check your mission progress on in the menu with X. Cool, so we can actually see which ones are highlighted, and which ones are greyed out. The greyed out ones are the ones we haven't done yet, so... Let's go to number 6. Also, I think that it would be cool if they implemented the kettles into the multiplayer somehow. New weapon as well. Like, if the kettles were used as like, uh, a way to get around, like a, a portal system kind of thing. Or possibly just as, like, having grates as well. Like the grate that you normally get used to get into the Octo Valley. If you if they had grates that like that work like um like you just hide in the, the the vent basically. But anyway, we got the hero charger. Hold ZR to charge up and then splat some enemies from afar. You can also swim around a bit without losing your charge. Cool, huh? I call it that uh storing your charge. Get good at it and you'll get you'll be cooking in no time. So we can charge up with this and then shoot. Or we can just charge up and then shoot. Like, when it's not charged up all the way. But this level is designed around this whole mechanic. Because it has these... Uh, what they called? Ink grapple things. Which aren't really designed for other weapons other than the charger, so... But in... Oh boy. I wonder if those Octo Zeppelins have a weak point, which is... Okay. Which is their top, top bit, pointing out of them. These are like the bullet bills of Splatoon now. 
Uh, but in using other weapons in the stage, it changes the, the platforms to give you different platforms that allow you to actually uh, hit the, the grapples with your bombs so you can still use them. But it, it is not great for all weapons, basically, with the grappling. It's really not designed for it <laughs> with other weapons. I need to get some more ink so we can go up here. It's just a little bit annoying to try and platform around. But anyway, we can also hit these fans to actually make these platforms move. Which is what the game was trying to say before without me explaining it before. Okay, we need to be careful over here. Because there's the Sardinium. So let's grab that and let's go. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. I don't know what it was that was not liking the sound of, but anyway. Let me just go up this way, I think. There's a box down there, but I don't think it's anything important. There is also a box over here, and there's a platform there as well. If I can hit it. There we go. Probably should try and get some more ink back, which is difficult when I'm in a not platform platform. If that makes any kind of sense. A not inkable platform. I don't like the look of that. Ow, ow, ah, ah. Whenever they explode, they spread ink a lot. So we need to be quick and careful. How are you going to get past that? Uh, we can take them out, I guess. We also have a stingray here, which we could use to take them out. But I'm going to try and hold on to that. Please, blow up. Oh, that was close. I'm just going to thread the needle. I think there's also a box up there that we want to get at some point. But not right now, so we're going to come back for that, I believe. For the moment, we're going to take this key. And move on. Okay, there's a couple of extra things here as well. Another checkpoint. On to the next. Oh, please be careful. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, uh, the... Uh, what's it called? This weapon. I don't know. I can't remember things for some reason. Especially when it comes to Splatoon for some reason. The charger can actually... is actually very helpful for getting up walls quickly. Okay. Also, I think I may have done something wrong here. Because I'm supposed to be able to get in there, but I think that's after going through more of this, possibly, that I'm thinking about. We can also use uh, a, a special for things that it wasn't designed for. But there's the Zapfish up there, which we're not supposed to be able to reach from here, but because we have the Stingray, we can just dash over to it. It's quite helpful, but I think I do want to do some other stuff first. So let's not fall. Oh my goodness. There, there are some slippery things in this game. It just doesn't work the way I want it to. Zapfish sighted. Okay, let's activate that. So I want to activate that, though. Oh, that moves the, the whole platform. Interesting, I'm also running out of ink. I need ink. How are you supposed to activate that without messing everything up? I don't know. Like, from up here, that is. I mean, I guess I could try... No, I'm, I'm sure you can hit that off the edge, but even if you... I don't know. Like, do I just square off the edge? No. Because I think I need to go over that way. With this platform. But how do I do that? I can aim at the ground here, kind of, and then throw that off. That didn't work. I don't have enough ink now. I, I, I think... Yeah, I don't know. I think I know what I'm supposed to do, but it's not working extremely well, especially if I'm going to fall off the edge in a second here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. But I don't have the... the C-scroll, which is the problem right now. Because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to move that platform over so you can get to that area on top of the... the bullet bill, like, things. Launchers. There we go. It's level down, but I, I really want that C-scroll. So let's go in with a different weapon this time. I guess I'll take dualies. And it means we'll get to see the different platforms in there to show what I was meaning by that. There are some of these levels that are just really not designed for other weapons, though. 
We can see here that these are raised up, though. So let's hit that. I think it's time for some bombs. Nice shot. Just gonna, nope, I failed that. Now it's going to go down before I have a chance, because that's how this works, basically. So you just don't have a chance. It's really not designed for this. Oh, I'm out of ink again, because I'm using it on bombs. Try and get through here quickly. Quickly, I said. Good thing that will also stop them. But the, the grapples allow us to go up quickly, which is good. Let's try and hit that. Okay. How did the box fall off? I have not seen that happen before. I didn't think those book boxes were able to be pushed around. But I guess I was wrong. Anyway, we need to go up here so we can actually reach this throw to there. We need to go up here so we can reach the throw even further up, but we also need to take out the baddie. Also, the light is bright. <laughs> I just want to be able to see. Okay, there we go. Just need to hit that up a whole bunch. Oh, ink. I really need to regain some of this ink. I really need to upgrade my tank is the thing that I really need to do. Oh, please. Quick, 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 quick. Made it. I got hit, but I made it. It's fine. Also, I didn't jump onto that, did I? That's the thing I was supposed to do that I didn't do. That probably explains a lot of things. Just gonna leave that as it is. There's a platform here to allow us to throw it up to that if we jump, I think. Nope, I just miss in general. Okay, let me throw that again. Just need to aim up more. Because there's this here. But I don't think this leads to anything. It just shows that you can look around a bit more. Go up here, hit that. I, I probably got distracted by the things shooting at me. Okay, let me jump down here. Hit that. And this should take me to where I was trying to go. That's why I was so confused. It's because I just misremembered that platform and this platform, because they don't actually kind of go together. But anyway, this should be something up here, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong about this, then I'm going to be very upset. There it is. Okay, good. And this will take us back, so we can't skip everything. It's so nice having an actual shooting gun. Shot. The charge is nice in some ways, but fight like shooting these enemies here is actually a lot better with an actual different weapon. <laughs> Just any of them, basically. But anyway, now to get to, to back to the end. There's a platform here as well. Make sure we can reach this, because we really can't, actually. The only way we can actually get this to work from here is actually th to throw a bomb across. So the stage will burn through ink when you're not using the splat charger. Your, phew, your armpits must be pretty damp right now, huh? Why? <laughs> Why? Also, this platform up here is also looking strange and different. Uh, I guess I'm going to just skip that because I can. <laughs> because it just makes way more sense to just leave that alone. Mwah. Just going to kiss this stuffed thing and get a new record. I really like getting the faster times in the story mode. I mean, you basically get used to getting the faster times because of playing all the levels with every weapon. Not that you really need to, but it's the thing that I have to do because of this is how I am. What could have happened to the two embracing? No matter ha how one loves, there are always different aims. Love can take a great many forms. Whatever the error. Okay, next level, number seven. And this one is an interesting one, except I have to make a decision. I think I'm gonna go in into it. Back alley cleanup, suck it up, with another Sheldon request. Sometimes the Sheldon requests are new weapons and sometimes they're just weapons that we already have that we have to just use. So we're using the hero shot for this one. Don't have any choice. Something smells fishy and it's not just my breath. Wow, that's the biggest squeegee I've ever seen. And it's taking out the... Uh, 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 troopers. Ah, I fell. It's fine, there's a gusher here. Industrial size squeegee. Let's 
try and get past it. Okay. Let's go up this wall. But we need to be careful of those squeegees, because they will kill us basically in one hit. Unless we have armor, I think. Possibly. We armor might help us a lot. But we need to draw it over with our ink so we can get it closer and then get it going in the right direction. Looks like it doesn't notice when you climb up on its back. Interesting. But we can use it to get around. Just like that. We just need to be careful with it. And there's something about those squeegee that's kind of, kind of totally adorable. Uh, for some, maybe. For those who have played this stage a lot and have had trouble with them, not as much. Don't go falling to your doom now. I'm pretty invested in you in this at this point. That's fair. I want to take you out from up here, please. Thank you. Deep fry those. Yeah, I can't. You, the text is gone already. The text really goes by really quickly, which which makes me panic and makes me read it bad. But anyway, there's a sprinkler. So let's get rid of that. Le let this squeegee finish its job finally after all these years. Okay, another huge squeegee. Remember, industrial-sized squeegees react to ink. Take the high ground. Because if they see you, they're more likely to go after you than the ink that's being spread. Take out that. I'm gonna try and lure you over, possibly. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm trying to make themselves known. Oh, <laughs> they're just going nuts with the stuff right now. Hee-haw! Ride em, squid kid. Oh, you're in trouble. Why did you jump down? Why did you fall down? You're in trouble. There we go. But you don't, you, they don't give us their uh, fish eggs if the squeegee takes them out. So we need to probably take them out ourselves if we can. That was close. Hey, squeegee, go that way. Also, they go after bombs more, so you probably can use them to kind of aim them in a direction somewhat. It just costs a lot of ink and it recharges slowly, so. Okay, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. Gonna let them have it. Okay, let's open this up and get some fish eggs. Not quite what I was after, but it's fine. I need this squeegee over here. If I can, so let's throw that down there. Draw it over. And now let's throw that over there. Get off. I think off the edge of this is actually some other stuff. Agent 4 is. Murray's hero, apparently. Kelly? Murray. I don't know. I forget, apparently, which is not good. I just forget things. These walls are ink-proof, so you can't climb them. Those ones are. Where did the squeegee go? Squeegee, come back. Okay, squeegee. Okay, let's go. Still missing the sardinium. There's a locked door up ahead. And it's got a squeegee in it. So we're going to need to be careful about that, but we need to open it up first, so... Just go over this way. Ow. Getting shot. Also, those are definitely... Mushrooms? No, they're probably just, um... Sea snail things. But anyway. It's going up. Shoot you. Okay. Across. Okay. There's the key. Let's take this ink rail over to the sardinium. Or sardinium. I don't know. But now we can open up this thing here. We need a quick getaway. So let's activate that and run away because it's after us. Just need to go around. Maybe. Figure out which way it's going first. Over here. Ah, run. <laughs> run. Quick. Go. Sorry, this is not the dualies. I th forgot it was for a second. Because I was going to try and dodge roll, but nope. Okay. Let's go. We have everything we need, so we should be getting pretty close to the end now. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. That, that, um, trooper needs a raise. Okay, the Zapfish is just a further ahead. A bit further ahead. Let's activate this squeegee, just like that, and that will take out a lot of the octoling troopers that just around. Go, my pet, do my bidding. I was talking to the squeegee. Oh, not me. Okay then. 
take out all these troopers so that we get some fish eggs out of them. Come on, please, thank you. It's the last time I'm going to high ground against them when they have a shield. I think this green one possibly will respawn, but it only drops the fish eggs once. And more fish eggs. Okay, we have over a thousand now, which means we can upgrade our ink tank. But also I want this thing to come over this way, please. You'll lure the thing closer, I guess. So that's good. Come on, squeegee. Come on, squeegee. Squeegee's on his way to destroy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Doesn't stand a chance. No, 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 no. I don't want to be down here. I don't want to go up there. Please. Please, 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 no, please, no, please, no, please, please, thank you. Okay. Let's try that again. This, it's getting the squeegee to go up against the wall so I can get up there is really difficult. Okay. Let's throw that over there. Jump across. Okay. And we're at the end. Nice work, Squeegee. You did okay too, Agent 4. Now free the Zapfish. And there we go. Many travelers find themselves in Inkopolis Square at some point in their journey. Youth from far-flung seas gather in this colorful hub of comings. Goings and meetings. M meetings and farewells. Just reading the extra ands in there. <laughs> Very nice. But anyway, we can now upgrade our ink tank so we can have so much more ink, basically. I hope it's so much more at least. Also, the music will change whenever we go into a new area, so... I think it's mostly the same, but it adds a little bit to it, so... And I like that about Splatoon in the story mode. But there we go, level up. And now how much do we have? A decent amount. I know this is only level 1 for this weapon, but still. Goes down quite slowly now, so we have plenty of ink shots to go with. But now if I refill it, we definitely have an extra... a fair bit of extra space to be able to throw a bomb and then still have ink to throw another bomb not that long after the first one, so... That's definitely an upgrade. But anyway... That is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.